Wait for a tan. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on this channel, I like to read you a random Bible chapter. That's right. Every morning we uh we like to pull out the old Bible randomizer here and uh find you a nice wintry I don't I don't know. Just a just a nice chapter. I don't think it's going to be a wintry chapter. Maybe it'll be a summer chapter. I don't maybe a spring. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. So let's go ahead and get into it. Three, add two, one. Joshua 21. All righty, here we go. Joshua 21 on our random Bible chapter of the day. Then the heads of the households of the Levites approached Eliezer, Eliezer, the priest. And Joshua, the son of Nun, and the heads of the households of the tribes of the sons of Israel, they spoke to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded through Moses to give us cities to live in, with their pasture lands for our cattle. So the sons of Israel gave the Levites from their inheritance these cities with their pasture lands according to the command of Yahuwah. Then the lot came out from the families of the Kohathites. And the sons of Aaron, the priests who were of the Levites, received 13 cities by lot from the tribe of Judah, and from the tribe of the Simeonites, and from the tribe of Benjamin. The rest of the sons of Kohath received 10 cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Ephraim, and from the tribe of Dan, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh. The sons of Gershon received 13 cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Issachar, and from the tribe of Asher, and from the tribe of Nephtali, and from the tribe of Mane and from the half tribe of Manasseh and Bashan. The sons of Merari, according to the families, received twelve cities from the tribe of Reuben, and from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulon. Now the sons of Israel gave by lot to the Levites these cities with their pasture lands, and Yahuwah had commanded, as Yahuwah commanded through Moses. They gave these cities, which are here mentioned by name, from the tribe of the sons of Judah and from the tribe of the sons of Simeon. And they were for the sons of Aaron and one of, one of the families of the Kahothites and the sons of Levi, for the lot was theirs first. Thus they gave them Kiriath Arba, Arba being the father of Anak, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, with its surrounding pasture lands. But the fields of this city and its villages they gave to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Jephunneh, eh, in his possession. These names are fun. So the sons of Aaron, the priests, they gave Hebron, the city of refuge for, their, for the manslayer with its pasture lands, and Libna with its pasture lands, and Jatir with its pasture lands, and Eshtoma Esht with its pasture lands, and Holon with its pasture lands, Debir with its pasture lands, Ain with its pasture lands, and Jutah with its pasture lands, and Beth Shemesh with its pasture lands. Nine cities from these two tribes. From the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its pasture lands, Giba with its pasture lands, and, and Nathoth with its pasture lands, and Almon with its pasture lands. Four cities. All the cities of the sons of Aaron, the priests, were 13 cities with their pasture lands. Then the cities of, from the tribe of Ephraim were allotted to the families of the sons of Kohath, the Levites, even to the rest of the sons of Kohath. They gave them Shechem, the city of refuge for the manslayer, with its pasture lands in the hill country of Ephraim, and Gezer with its pasture lands, and Gibzam and its pasture lands, and Beth Horon with its pasture lands, four cities. From the tribe of Dan, Eltek with its pasture lands, Gib Gib Gibethon with its pasture lands, Ajalon with its pasture lands, Gath Rimmon with its pasture lands, four cities. From the half tribe of Manasseh, they allotted Hanak with its pasture lands, and Gath Rimmon with its pasture lands, two cities. All the cities with their pasture lands for the families of the rest of the sons of Kohath were ten. 
to the sons of Gershon, one of the families of the Levites from the half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan and Bashan, the city of refuge for the manslayer, with its pasture lands, and Bethera, with its pasture lands, two cities. Maybe you guys were wondering, I think this refuge for the manslayer, I think there's another law in there that says if you accidentally do something, you have to have a city of refuge instead of, you know, you know, if like you accidentally hurt someone or murder them, uh, it was an accident and everybody ruled it an accident, you just get banished to a city of refuge. I'm not positive, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what that is. Uh, with its pasture lands, two cities. From the tribe of Issachar, they gave Gishion with its pasture lands, Deborah with its pasture lands. And if, and if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Let me, know, let me know what you guys think that means, the city of refuge for Manslayer. With its pasture lands, uh, Jar Jarmuth with its pasture lands, and Gainim with its pasture lands, four cities. From the tribe of Asher, they gave Mishal with its pasture lands, Abdon with its pasture lands, Helkath with its pasture lands, and Rehob with its pasture lands, four cities. From the tribe of Nephtali, they gave Kadesh in Galilee, Gal Gal Galilee, the city of refuge for the manslayer, with its pasture lands, and Hamathdor with its pasture lands, and Kartan with its pasture lands, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, were 13 cities with their pasture lands. To the families of the sons of Merari, the rest of the Levites, they gave from the tribe of Zebulon, Jokniam with its pasture lands, Karta with its pasture lands, Dimna with its pasture lands, Nahalal with its pasture lands, four cities. From the tribe of Reuben, they gave Bizar with its pasture lands, and Jehaz with its pasture lands. Kedemoth with its pasture lands, and Mithphath with its pasture lands, four cities. From the tribe of Gad, they gave Ramoth and Gilead for the city of refuge for the manslayer, with its pasture lands, and Mahanim with its pasture lands, Heshbon with its pasture lands, Jezer with its pasture lands, four cities in all. All these were the cities of the sons of Merari, according to their families. The rest of the families of the Levites and their lot was twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites in the midst of the possession of the sons of Israel were 48 cities with their pasture lands. Woo wee! 48 cities they had. These cities each had its surrounding pasture lands, thus it was with all these cities. So Yahuwah gave Israel all the land which he had sworn to give to their fathers, and they possessed it and lived in it. And then Yahuwah gave the rest on every side, according to all that he had sworn to their fathers, and no one of all their enemies stood before them, and Yahuwah gave all their enemies into their hand. Not one of the good promises which Yahuwah had made to the house of Israel failed. All came to pass. Amen. Well, we learned where, uh, where everybody got a lot of their land, I guess. You know? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is uh, Joshua 21. And yeah, let me know. Let me know what that uh, city of refuge means to you guys. What, what do you guys think about that? Uh, where, where, where it uh, gives us a city, these, the, the city of refuge of these families. Right here for the manslayer. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But uh, all right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with the uh, random Bible chapter of the morning.